Ladies and gentlemen, seekers of truth and wisdom, I stand before you today, humbled by the opportunity to share with you the teachings that have guided my path. Let us embark on a journey of self-discovery and enlightenment. In this moment, let us release the burdens of the past and the worries of the future, for it is in the present that true transformation takes place. As I have said, do not dwell in the past, do not dream of the future, concentrate the mind on the present moment. Our thoughts shape our reality, and what we think, we become. The mind is the essence of our existence, and by cultivating purity within it, joy becomes our eternal companion. However, let us not be misguided by the illusion of self. The notion of a fixed and separate self is but a delusion. As the wise understand, the foolish man conceives the idea of self. The wise man sees there is no ground on which to build the idea of self. The truth remains unchangeable amidst the transient compounds of sorrow. Our thoughts are the architects of our world, and by understanding this truth, we hold the key to our own liberation. In the pursuit of wisdom and enlightenment, we must first acknowledge that three things cannot remain hidden for long, the sun, the moon, and the truth. To embark on this path, we must discipline and control our minds, for it is through self-mastery that the way to enlightenment is found. As I have shared, to enjoy good health, to bring true happiness to one's family, to bring peace to all, one must first discipline and control one's own mind. Let us remember that even death holds no fear for those who have lived wisely. When one walks the noble path with unwavering determination, the attainment of nirvana becomes a reality. It is a path of righteousness and virtue, for he who walks in the eightfold noble path with unswerving determination is sure to reach nirvana. In our pursuit of peace and love, let us find solace within ourselves. True peace comes from within, it is not something to be sought externally. Holding on to anger is like grasping a hot coal with the intent to harm another, it is ourselves who are burned. Hatred can only be conquered by love, for it is love that transcends all boundaries. As I have said, thousands of candles can be lighted from a single candle, and the life of the candle will not be shortened. Happiness never decreases by being shared. Embrace love and compassion, not only for others, but also for yourself. You, as much as anybody in the entire universe, deserve your own love and affection. On the path of personal growth and discipline, the greatest victory lies in conquering oneself. The battles we wage within are far more significant than any external conquest. As I have shared, it is better to conquer yourself than to win a thousand battles. Then the victory is yours. It cannot be taken from you, not by angels or by demons, heaven or hell. Nurturing the body is essential to maintaining a strong and clear mind. Let us remember that self-awareness and being true to the best we know are the keys to a fulfilling life. We must work out our own salvation and not depend on others. To live a pure and unselfish life, we must detach ourselves from the notion of ownership and share abundantly. Our words hold tremendous power, for they can shape destinies. Let us choose our words with care, knowing that they can influence others for good or ill, but remember, words alone hold little value if not followed by action. As I have shared, however many holy words you read, however many you speak, what good will they do you if you do not act upon them? In times of controversy, let us strive not for anger but for truth, for the instant we feel anger, we lose sight of our noble pursuit. Virtue and goodness are often persecuted by the wicked, but it is through virtuous acts that we find true merit. As I have said, charity bestowed upon those who are worthy of it is like good seed sown on good soil that yields an abundance of fruits. But alms given to those who are yet under the tyrannical yoke of the passions are like seed deposited in bad soil. The passions of the receiver of the alms choke, as it were, the growth of merits. Let us be steadfast in our commitment to virtue, even in the face of adversity. The virtues, like the muses, 
are always seen in groups and a good principle is never found solitary in any breast in conclusion my friends i am but one of many who have walked this earth in search of truth and enlightenment as i have shared i am not the first buddha who came upon earth nor shall i be the last in due time another buddha will arise in the world a holy one a supremely enlightened one endowed with wisdom in conduct auspicious knowing the universe an incomparable leader of men a master of angels and mortals may my words serve as a guiding light on your individual paths towards self discovery and may they inspire you to seek wisdom cultivate peace within and radiate love and compassion to all beings thank you and may your journey be filled with enlightenment and boundless joy